Hi, this is our friend Scrappy Mini, and today I'm going to make a quick co um, camp companion page for this layout. Um, I showed you on the video, in a, one of my videos, how to create this layout. So now I'm going to show you the, to, um, the company page that goes with it. This papers are from Basic Gray, and they're very old. So that's what I'm using. A lot of the embellishments that I'm using here are from my stamps that I use a sticky back vellum or not vellum but um, whatever this transparency so that's what I used I stamp them I cut them out and I usually like to stamp sheets like this I keep them in my um, pile of scraps so that way if I do want something I can easily cut it and put it on because sometimes I don't I'm not in the mood to dig through all my stamps look for the stamp that I want and put it sometimes I'll just like to stamp it and then just cut out what I want so this is the next page that I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna use the same flowers these on the if you saw my tutorial of, the, of this one you see how I create those flowers so I'm not gonna go into that so these are my flowers then let me go ahead and get started so the first thing I'm gonna do is start inking all my pages and make sure I put a lot of times once I start my layout I forget how I had it set up so that's why I'm kinda putting my embellishments that go on top up here the ones on the right hand over here and then on the left and then this piece here I use um, this is I used um, a border punch to create that piece I'm going to use some of my walnut ink, distressing ink, with my foam applicator. And I'm going to start distressing the edges. So I'm using walnut ink to distress all my edges because if you look at the paper, it does have like a walnut ink color um, distress look already. I'm rounding the corners because my companion page has the corner rounded and plus my die cut has some rounded corners so it'll give her that consistent look. So just, just putting more distressing ink. And now I'm going to use some glue adhesive to adhere the die cut. And then I'm going to also use that makeup sponge to kind of um, help me adhere that layer down without, so that way I don't transfer the ink from my fingers onto the page. It's not a big deal if you're using dark cardstock. Um, you won't see the smudges, but when you are using light color cardstock, you, you tend to see the smudges from your fingers. Now I'm putting the photo corners, and I got that idea from Kiwi Lane Designs. They use a lot of photo corners on their layouts, and I really like that look. So that's what I'm doing there. And then I'm going to adhere them with some more glue. And of course, I'm using my favorite stick glue to adhere the pages down, or the mats, photo mats down. Now, all these photo mats are five and a half, uh, four and a half by six and a half, so there's not going to be any cropping if your pictures are four by six. So now I'm going to put some of my sayings, my pre-stamped sayings that I did on the transparency, and then my camera. I like that camera icon, and then I'm using that butterfly that I just put up there. Um, that's a mirror butterfly and also notice that strip I forgot that that strip needed to go to the left hand side of my um, layout but I decided to put it on top and it's okay and I tend to do that a lot I can I that's why I like to um, I try to put the pieces where each item went onto the, the corresponding side because I always forget how I had it laid out when I do my um, dry fitting so there I'm putting some more of those flowers and another butterfly but that's actually a dragonfly it's a mirror dragonfly that I got at Walmart some time ago and last finishing touches putting a rhinestone on top of the smile okay I'm done with my layout so as you can see a little cluster there. I'm making like an L 
So I'm, I'm putting a lot of my clusters up here, a little here, and then come over here. I did forget to put this element piece was supposed to be on the side, but it looks good on top. So there's the companion page. So this is the first page, and this is the companion page for that first page. So I hope you like this layout. Come back to see me for some more. Bye.